<sighs> there aren't any auditions today, and I don't have to be at work until four. Guess it's a good day to catch up on housework and lay about the house and take a nap. Nope. Gotta burn off anniversary wine and keep forward momentum. Grab your dance belt and your Capizios. It's time for dance class. Dance class is just a couple blocks from my apartment. And it's always a fun game walking up to see if the long-legged girls wearing too much makeup are headed into the Hirschfeld for their Broadway show. If they're headed down to a dance class here, or if they dance somewhere else. This is Broadway Dance Center. The day I graduated college, I thought I was done with classes, but it turns out 22-year-olds don't know anything. Up a steep and very narrow stairway. It turns out that in musical theater, dance is one of the primary skills. Who'd have thunk it? Because, well, I suck at it. So it's baby jazz twice a week and adult musical theater at night. I always thought that I would reach an age when I was ready, when I was the best me I could possibly be. Turns out no such age exists. So it's back to class, and hopefully you get better at whatever. One of the best things about this business is how needy everyone is. Everybody wants to be further than where they are, but also everyone wants to be better at what they do because they love what they do. Whether you have your own sitcom or you work for tips, artists take classes, and classes cost money. $65 for 45 minute session. Uh, well, it's just 60 bucks. He had an excellent discount. Uh, he actually charges me 85 $150 for an hour. Per hour? Yeah. Fortunately, we're a pretty resourceful bunch, and we figured out a few ways to make a couple of extra dollars each and every week. Acting, singing, and dancing classes. And the management is so proud of our Broadway trackers that a few times a day, they let us walk around with a silver bucket to take a collection for the singing and the singing only. Now, if you like what you're hearing, during the next song, we're going to walk around in that tip bucket to collect fives, tens, uh, twenties, small children we can sell on the internet, anything you can fit in that bucket. And at the end of the ship, the manager divided up and buys each the singing, acting, or dancing lesson. Glamorous, isn't it? A survival job where you get to sing with a little extra on the side to help pay for those classes. But nothing worth having is ever easy. Recently, I was fortunate to get called in to audition for a Broadway show, which is far cry from standing in line at the open audition. That night, I met a party with the casting director. Long story short, I didn't get the part, and I finally got some constructive criticism. Be careful what you ask for, because he suggested an acting class for me. This business, you can often feel like you're flailing around in the dark, so when the casting director of the Broadway show says, take the class, you take the class, even if it's $500 a week. Time for another job. Fortunately, this city has all kinds of ways to earn extra money if you're industrious and need very little sleep. Some of these jobs are fun. All of them are interesting. But when every day you walk down the street and look up at the huge marquees of where you'd like to be working, they are all one thing and one thing only. Their work. I hope those kids who voted me most likely to be famous in high school can see me now. I finally saved up enough money for this magical acting class. I brushed off the old monologues and I auditioned and I got accepted to the studio. I accepted to give them my $500. Acting. No singing, no dancing, just talking in different and funny voices. Yeah, so I just wanted to take a quick video because I'm headed to acting class and I'm really nervous. I mean, acting. It's what you do during the rest, during the in between the big notes in your song, right? So it's going to be me and a bunch of actors, like people who want to do commercials and stuff, as opposed to me who really just wants to put on roller skates and be in Xanadu. Thank God for Xanax. Anyway, I just wanted to take an impromptu uh, video to record my nervousness. Impromptu is in my video camera is literally propped up by a cheese grater right now. Here we go! Doesn't look like much, does it? It's a far cry from a Broadway stage or a movie set. But this will hopefully open the doors to get me to those places. Tonight I'm headed back in to sing and serve burgers. And if you stop in to spend your hard-earned money, I hope you spare a smile for the guy up on that bench making that silly speech. Because the kid who brings you pie today might be your phantom tomorrow. Oh.